hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is nicole if you are new here today i just want to do a very quick and simple get ready with me video honestly these are the easiest for me to film i'm currently clocked in and working on the clock okay i mean i guess that's what clocked in means so yeah <laughs> but i wanted to just do a um video today so that i can do my makeup <laughs> <laughs> probably won't be doing anything over the top um of my tea here it's just uh earl gray tea i do put a little bit of sugar in it i personally just like it <sighs> let's get into it um don't really know what i'm going for i'm gonna be honest i've been on my like je ne <laughs> As you can see, it's listening to her. I've been on my Janae Aiko kick lately, so I'm kind of feeling her vibe. We're both Pisces, so that much is very much in tune. But I don't want her to do supernatural either. Today, <laughs> at least. Today is Tuesday, and I am trying to see... I don't even know if you guys would be interested, um, but I'm trying to see if I'm able to keep on doing some type of a vlog, at least like a week, or I don't want to put an exact time limit on because, I'm be honest guys, my life is not overly exciting. <laughs> it's not like I'm out doing stuff all the time. I barely leave my house, but maybe this will make me, you know, do something fun. Uh... But I very much am a homebody, so I don't even know if that is exciting or would be exciting to watch. But I'm attempting it. So far, I did a little bit yesterday. Wasn't really that exciting. Um, I worked. I worked out. I am leaving the house today, though, so. <laughs> we'll see. It might amount to nothing, and I might have literally zero footage, so... Do not hold me to a goddamn thing. All right. As far as foundation, uh, that was the Auric Glowless. By the way, I used the shade Pyrite. Been using this more. I just really like the glow of it. Lately, I've been mixing my Pat McGrath Labs and my Estee Lauder Double Wear. Uh, the Estee Lauder one is in 4N23 Maple Sugar. And then the Pat McGrath is in Light Medium 13. This one is quite light for me right now, and then the Essay Lauder is quite dark on me. So, I find that it is a pretty good mix and a shade for me. I probably do one third Essay Lauder to two thirds Pat. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, it looks about right. Haven't been using too much. Oh, I'm really trying to get back into the swing of filming more regularly. So if you are getting bored by like get ready with me, I understand. Uh, it's just I'm trying to just make time and I want to post and use my makeup because I'm... Whether I'm filming or not, I'm putting makeup on, right? So I may as well just put some on. Camp. Right? Right. And let's, oh, that's a little much. Just trying to like spot cover and I put way too much on the back of my hand. So as I'm like, I don't use that much. <laughs> Yeah, bullshit. I'll just keep this raggedy ass towel <laughs> next to me while I'm doing my makeup. <sighs> so, I think the last time that we spoke, I was finishing up my semester and I finished with a 4.0. Um, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to take classes this upcoming semester because I already have my associates. I don't have a bachelor's. I have an associate's, so. 
and I don't qualify for financial aid because I have an associates which is dumb I literally was like 21 when I was like oh well, I'll just do <laughs> but you know that's on me so whatever um but I was paying out of pocket well I don't have a thousand plus dollars to spend on this one class uh just that's not happening for me at this moment in time I also want to point out because I don't think that I mentioned it in this video that uh, I could obviously transfer to a four-year university however I still wouldn't qualify well, I may qualify for financial aid but I still would have to get student loans or something like that uh, right now I do not I applied for student loans and I don't qualify for them I don't know if it's just because I just bought a house and I'm in credit card debt <laughs> but I don't I don't really know um, exactly why uh, but I don't really know many college students that have great uh, credit scores either so I'm just putting my business all out there I mean it's not a horrible credit score obviously I bought a house but like I don't know I don't know okay I got laid off so I'm in a different tax bracket than I was they're qualifying me off of my old income it's just a whole thing so right now I'm just in this fucking limbo of a weird bullshit and that is why I'm not uh transferring to a four year at this time <laughs> i'm gonna use my makeup forever matte velvet skin in 2.4 um that's just not it's not gonna happen uh so that may be just on the back burner and i really hate that because i already feel like i'm behind which is so dumb can we just talk about that for a minute how we literally put ourselves in these like magical fucking timelines that aren't like they don't exist <laughs> I'm like, well, I'm almost 30. So, <laughs> what about it, bitch? You know how many people did not even figure out what they want to do till they were in, like, their 40s, 50s, like. And also, I just know me. I'm not somebody who is going to want to do the same thing for the rest of my life. And that is what has taken me so long to even go back to school because I really hesitated for the longest time on even picking something because I like to switch things up that's why I like recording videos because one it's just on me I enjoy what I'm doing and <laughs> there's no one telling me to you know what I mean like I I just I'm not I'm not a great person when it comes to like being told what to do if I'm being honest and that's a flaw is it <laughs> I don't really think that's a flaw. I just think that you're just meant for something different. Like, some people just don't mind. And, like, good for you. <laughs> if you're like that, good for you. Because I can't tell you how many times I've been, like, reprimanded at work or fired or quit. <laughs> Not lately, but my mouth... I just have my, I've always just had my own thoughts and I just will always be that way. You can ask my family. It's, <laughs> it's been that way since literally my entire life. So, oh my God, I'm literally just rambling. But I say all that to say like, it's, it's difficult for me to just pick one career path forever like I don't know that I see myself doing any one thing forever if I'm being honest like I like to switch it up but you know <laughs> I don't know where I was gonna go with that because I don't know um I and mean, that's okay maybe that's all right so I am just working and just trying to be a little bit healthier um trying to get back in tune with my spirituality which is so fucking intense like nobody talks about how much it will work goes into working on yourself like it's exhausting and lonely but so I'm just just trying to be better all around and reading more taking more time to 
read even if it's you know nothing super deep or thought provo provoking like just taking that time to get out of my own head is needed I very much am like always in my head and that's just exhausting it's so tiring and I will say for me to be like such a Pisces because I'm such a Pisces I'm just taking my Fenty bronzer and just putting a little bit in my crease for me to be such a Pisces I really do not like smoking weed and when I tell you I'm so jealous of people who like do I it makes my anxiety like on 10 and every time I say that people are like oh well you're just not smoking the right weed but I've tried <laughs> I've tried and I'm thinking about trying again um I know for sure nothing sativa heavy like but then you don't want to do only indica and just be knocked the fuck out so but I do have trouble sleeping, so maybe that is honestly what I need. I have trouble sleeping, and I have trouble falling asleep, and I have trouble staying asleep. Um, I don't know if anyone else is like this, but for some reason, when I am falling asleep, I jump up in a panic attack, or like on the on the verge of one. And I have, if I am able to catch it in time, I can like bring myself down back down a little bit uh, but sometimes it's just not possible or if I am able to bring it back down uh, and start going back to sleep it'll happen two or three times um, before I'm able to like sleep and I find that the more tired I am the more likely it is to happen but by default you're tired which can make you more anxious but then you're anxious and you can't sleep so this is I, <laughs> this is just the journey that I've been on so I'm thinking later I might try uh and stop at a dispensary or something or even just get like CBD something but lord knows I need something But I mean, I just naturally am a creative person. I just feel like if I did smoke weed, I would be even more creative. And I know that, you know, hey baby, I know. I know that like anxiety is a mental thing. And I am able to bring myself down sometimes when I have like an anxiety or panic attack, but... There's like, no matter what you smoke, it's different percentages, right? So there's not like, oh, well, I, if I only have this much, then I'm cool. <laughs> like, I just am a control freak. And I know that's a personal issue. I'm not just talking about weed, like in general. I like to be in control. I don't drink too much because I like to be in control. I like to know what's going on. I like to be aware of my surroundings. And that's, you know, <laughs> unfortunately a part of my personality that I'm trying to work on because that's half of my anxiety at least comes from the fact that like I can't control most things and knowing that and accepting that are two very different things <laughs> let me tell you so again working on that and I'm just I need to take more time to be present and meditate and I have a whole like area dedicated to meditation and it's just getting there so if you are like me try meditation I'm not someone who just doesn't think when they meditate um, my mind is very much still moving but that's not the point of meditation <laughs> Uh, at least what I have heard hold on at least what I know about meditation is that when you are still and you're letting your thoughts come to you, it is to pay attention and take stock of the thoughts that are coming to you. Um, 
give them their moment and then let them leave. And what I tend to do is I sit in my thoughts. If there's nothing I can do right at this moment in time, I need to let those thoughts go. And I do a really bad job of that. And I am like the first person to admit it. And I like sit in those and then I make myself more anxious. And then I am in a panic stack. <laughs> and it's it's not funny. It's really fucked up. But uh, this is uh, Marc Jacobs eyeliner in what color is this? Out of the blue and you know I just very much am not naturally anyways an in the moment type of person and that is something I'm working on and I do believe that you can become better at these things I think that's something that you can work on I'm just on my journey of it and I will say that I recognize the times when I am not letting things go and I recognize the times where I am sitting in something that I can't do anything about right now and and being able to recognize that I'm aware of how often I do it I'm just gonna flick that out a little bit I'm aware of how often I do it and I'm aware that I am letting myself just sit in it and that's just not good it's not helpful you're not able to achieve anything and you're stressing yourself out for no reason like listen the things that i stress out about are stressful things and there's good reason for me to st be stressed about them but i'm not i'm not able to do anything about it right at this moment so why am i <laughs> why am i continuing to sit there in it just so i can go through it twice three times I mean however many times you sit there and think about the think about the same thing is how many times you're putting yourself through it instead of just accepting it for right now until you can do something about it and I just am learning how to do this I'm trying to do this without pulling but that's not seeming to work. I'm gonna have to clean that up, but I'm gonna blend or uh, smoke it out a little bit so it doesn't need to be perfect. So if you guys have any tips for me, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, I've been working on eating better as well because I know that has a lot to do with well, can have a lot to do with your mental health. Um, I really don't drink. I haven't been drinking. Um, I've been really only drinking water. <sighs> I'm just trying to, like, be better. I don't have a... I don't have a specific goal weight for some or something like that. I just want to feel better, you know. That is my goal. I'm just gonna take a little bit of concealer and clean this up because I did get a little heavy-handed. This is kind of difficult to do when it's blue, <laughs> so. No, no bad, no bad. So that's where I'm at. Um, yeah, any and all advice would be greatly appreciated. Um, I have been working out, but I'll be honest. I think I also just want to incorporate yoga. Um, because right now I'm doing like some cardio and like at home workouts. I think I want to incorporate yoga, which I have done before. I'm not the bendiest bitch alive, okay? I really am not. I'm not super flexible, but I like the mindfulness aspect of yoga. So I think I'm going to give that another go. I like that blue. And so I did... I mean, you guys watched me do it. <laughs> but I did the liner 
underneath and then I brought the wing out from the bottom first so it's all connected I'll, I'll zoom in um, at the end for my bronzer I'm just gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty this is an island tang it is very well loved I mean she's seen better days but I think it's it's important to talk about mental health um, I know a few videos ago I was really really going through it so I'm not like that thank goodness but I just I want to be preventative about it you know what I mean and I'm thinking about going vegan for like 30 days but that takes preparation because I've tried to just go vegan out of nowhere and you setting yourself up for a failure because it's everything if you are not currently vegan is going to have animal byproducts in it. Uh, so I'm trying to see if that's something that I just want to see how I feel and just kind of play around with my diet. Um, so this is a um, Milani blush in pink play the makeup I'm using I've been using for a few days <clears throat> I really am trying to get back into incorporating more drugstore makeup into my everyday routine because I love Milani <laughs> And I don't usually wear pink blush, but this one is really pretty. And there's like one shade in it that adds glow. I'm trying to go a little blush heavy today, if you couldn't tell. So this shade here adds like a nice glow. I'm gonna add that closer to the top. Ooh, pretty. I feel like you either love blush or you hate it. <laughs> I love blush. I'm just gonna take a clean at Cosmetics brush. I'm just gonna marry the two. I'm just gonna add a little bit more to the corner. I did brush over that a little. Pretty. And then I'm going to use MAC uh, Mineralized Skin Finish in Global Glow. So this is what it looks like. I'm sure you guys have heard of... Uh, what's the other one called? I can't think. You guys. <laughs> but this is the shade Darker. Uh, the other one is too light for me. That's everyone's favorite. And actually, I never hear anyone talk about this one, but it's very pretty if, if you have a medium or light medium. Probably more medium. Um, skin tone. But yeah, it gives a really nice and pretty glow. I'm probably going to put... Should I put lashes on? This is the Lash Princess by Essence. Honestly, you guys, this has been my go-to lately. It's like $4, and it is so good. Honestly, might like it better than my Lancome Lash Idol or Idol. It is a wetter formula, though, so... It gets everywhere. Don't be surprised. Honestly, I don't know why I did that because I want to hold on, set the blue on my bottom lash. So I'm going to use the Blend Bunny Blends palette. And I'm going to take Chance here and I'm going to just lightly set it to be careful in this eye. I'm going to go right underneath. And I'm also just blurring it. 
if that messed up my mascara, I can't tell because it's a dark blue, thank goodness. Okay. Just wanted to set it a little bit. I think I'm going to skip lashes. And then all that was really left is lips and hair. Here's my NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in London. And then I'm going to take Charlotte Tilbury Catwalking. Like that. Yes, honey. Just for a little bit. And that is the finished makeup look. I'm going to see me guys in. So this is what I am giving you a very dramatic <laughs> blue smoky eye I really like it so that is it for the makeup I'm probably not gonna do my makeup until it dries a little bit more so I will just leave you with this for my moisturizer lately I have been using the Cetaphil moisturizing lotion and you guys I love this this makes my skin so soft so I really recommend that. Um, I've been using more expensive moisturizers and I think that might be a winner. I know. I was, hmm. And you get so much. This is heavy, boy. This is 16 ounces. So, it's a thumbs up. I might try the cleanser when I run out of my Tatcha because I, uh, I think I've heard uh, that one was really good too. <sighs> but just to conclude, wrap up this, uh, this get ready with me. <sighs> I am just trying to let go of the need for control a little bit more. Um, I can't control everything. <laughs> just as much as I really would want to. I can't. Um, so I'm working on accepting this and coming to this realization. I want to uh, eat better, live better, think better, feel better. That's really just my goal in life right now. So as much as it sucks that I may not be able to resume school for next semester that doesn't mean that it's all it's a no forever uh i need to stop putting this fake fucking timeline on my life or anyone else's life don't do that to yourself either time is not real <laughs> and i will leave you with that uh if you enjoyed this don't forget to give it a thumbs up stay if you like and i look forward to seeing you in the next video bye